Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 6 Part 96 and the uh, the end of the game. This is the final segment, so I'd just like to point out I changed my racing gear yet again. I switched to the special developmental SRTG suit, because fuck it, I had it, and uh, it's fitting for this, so time for the final challenge of Gran Turismo 6 and it is the Sebastian X Vet Sebastian Vettel X challenge wow I fucked that up so here we go so yeah the ultimate machine the Red Bull X fan car this has the fan downforce thing and it's insane so yeah 1200 horsepower that's another thing. So here we go. So if you guys remember the uh, Vettel X challenge from GT5, this is the same thing. We have three tracks, three time trials, and uh, we have to do two laps within the amount of time it would take a normal car to do one lap, basically. But an interesting thing about this game's version of it is it's a lot easier because well, one, the require the time requirements are a bit easier, and two, um, the, the game actually gives you a little bit of leeway with going off course and stuff. This so is yeah. This is circuit in Italy. It's a historic track that's comprised of four straights, tricky chicanes, and high-speed corners, making it a thrilling, super-fast place to race. Monza is a special place to me because I have won my first ever Formula One race here in the rain. The one lap record of 1 minute and 19 seconds was set by Juan Pablo Montoya in 2004. Let's see what you can do out there. You can tell you were doing a lot faster than minute 19, that's for damn sure. So yeah, here we go. <clears throat> it is time for the slightly less terrible version of the Red Bull X Challenge. So, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Alright, let's stop turning in too soon for this fucking chicane and slam it into the wall. Let's let's do that right here, okay, okay. God damn it. Yeah, it's pretty interesting how JPM has a lap record here. Okay, we actually made it around turn one. Holy fuck! This thing's a lot crazier than the fucking standard car. Oh god. That's right. things insane. Now, other people would probably try to cheat and cut the course since, you know, this game's a lot more uh, lenient towards boundaries. They don't immediately fail you. I'm not going to do that. Because I have dignity. So yeah. Oh my Jesus fuck. This is every bit as insane as the fucking X-2010. This is... Oh. I forgot how insane this fucking car was. Go! We are catching up to the lead car. And we are overtaking him, okay. So, 1083. I'm actually on pace for gold. So, uh, at least keep going here. Yeah, if they didn't want you to go there, I'd put walls there. Anyways. Oh fuck, I just cut shit out of that chicane, goddammit. Well, fuck. Yeah, wanna be careful there. That's an actual car, not a ghost this time. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so much speed. So much speed. The speed is insane. If you ever want to shit your pants, just drive this car. Hey Sly, just in time. And there we go. So, um, once I finally got past the first uh, chicane, this is basically my first attempt. Like, I fucked up the first chicane twice. 
and then I actually got going on this one. So, um, hooray! And I beat the gold time by over two seconds. If an ear may or may not be bleeding, rip. So yeah, about that. Like I said, these are a lot easier in this game. One million credits. Nice. So that was the easiest one because Monza is easiest track here, but yeah. So let's move on to the second trial, which is at Spa this time, replacing the Nurburgring in the GT5 challenge. So we have to do a we have to do two laps around Spa in two minutes fifty. Like holy shit. Holy shit. So, here's some info about Spa. This is Spa Francorchamps in Belgium. Like the Suzuka circuit, Spa is defined by its classic layout. Really fast straights with lots of exciting corners, some of them on the dangerous side. The most famous corner here is Eau Rouge. Nearly every pilot who has driven here loves this track, including myself. The one lap record of Spa is 1 minute and 43 seconds, set by Michael Schumacher. Let's see how we'll get on. Nope, oh, time to shatter Schumacher's record. So, here we go. Time for two laps around Spa. So we need an average lap time of a minute 25 to gold this, so let's go. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I know, the SRT Tomahawk is even crazier than this car. I don't give a fuck. This car's still crazy. Off we go. Oh, Rouge at well over 200 miles per hour is going to be very interesting. Let me tell you. 250 miles per hour? 260? Oh, fuck. Okay. Almost lost control of the car. Holy shit. Almost 300 miles per hour. Holy damn. Yes, 300 miles per hour. Also ran, almost rammed into the back of the uh, lead car here. That would have been bad. Please do not ram to the back. Okay. Well, I'm ahead of the lead car now. I'm ahead of the pace car. Whoopsie. Oh, shnikes. Okay. Give your roommate headphones. Oh, boy. Rip roommate. I fucked it up. Alright. Okay, so I said I need an average lap time of a minute 25. First lap was a minute 23. And I really fucked up that first hairpin. Whoopsie. Once again, 260 mile per hour Eau Rouge. Slipstream in the car ahead. Can I hit 300? 300 miles per hour. We did it. We did it, fam. Oh shit, we're going wide. Oh god, car's out of control. Okay, we saved it. Overshot the turn a little bit. We're good. Whoa, hello, how you doing, buddy? You doing good? That's good. Can you, like, not? This guy's trying to sabotage me. Help. Yeah, isn't this, like, the slowest of the Red Bulls, or at least, like, second? I know the 2011 is actually the best of the Red Bull Xs. Which is interesting. Okay. Whew. That was some shit. I'm kinda actually glad that guy uh, passed me in the hairpin because I got to take advantage of the slipstream down straight away after Eau Rouge. Oh my god. Hello, how you doing? That being said, I st I'd still being an asshole. And first try hype. <laughs> Fucking Vettel, beating and banging me, motherfucker. So, uh, first attempt. Swag. Looks so badass in that G-suit. It's like a fucking st a s black suit stormtrooper. It's fucking awesome. 
It's so easy. Too easy! Piece of cake! Alright. But yeah, like I said, fucking easy, bro. But now we move on to the hardest track, and it's still probably going to be fairly easy. Suzuka! So here we go. Two laps around Suzuka in two and a half minutes. What was the goal time in GT5 for this? I can't remember. I can't remember. Here we are at the Suzuka circuit. It's a very technical and fun track with lots of challenging sections, especially the first sector up the hill along the S's. I raced here for the first time in 2009 where I took pole position and went on to win the race. In his first race here. So you can understand why Suzuka is one of my favorite racetracks in the world. The 1 minute 28 seconds lap record of Suzuka was set by Michael Schumacher. Let's see what you can do. Fucking Schumacher with two out of the three records here. Alright. So certain shit off, let's do this. Minute 15 average lap time. Here we go. Time for Suzuka. In the Red Bull. Dun 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 dun. It's time for the cha final challenge. Already fucking right on Vettel's ass. And no longer on Vettel's ass. Should not have downshifted there. Whoopsie. Yeah, Schumacher and fucking Montoya. Like, JPM of all people. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, so GT5, this is 2 minutes 10. Alright. Nice. Yeah, I got this for sure. <laughs> this is some thrilling gameplay, bro. Like, I remember this being a lot easier in GT5. I don't remember it being this easy. <laughs> what the heck? Not even taking advantage of, uh, you know, boundaries and shit. I don't know. And once again, two seconds over the uh, required average time, lap time. So, uh, we good. We good, fam. Not even gonna get to pass Vettel this time, it looks like. I don't care. Don't need to. Don't need to. Oh, fuck me. Okay, we're good. Whew, alright. That was really close. I almost, like, spun the car there. Yeah, this is easy as fuck, man. <clears throat> Fucking Vettel just lighting up the tires. More so than me. Alright, 130R. Fucking chicane, almost ram into the back of Vettel. And once again, first attempt. Win. This time I beat the gold requirement by almost seven seconds seven seconds can you say easy it's holy shit that was easy I was expecting this to take at least like an hour nope just nope glad also we beat the game by the way that congratulations did you have fun? I had a lot of fun, Sebastian. You've now cleared all stages of the X Challenge, which means you've mastered all the basics of driving Formula cars. All the basics, driving the fucking craziest thing in existence. The last thing I wanted to say is that driving is fun. Yes, it is. Right now, I compete in the challenging world of racing, but still feel the same. Driving is always fun. This feeling hasn't changed for me since I was a little boy. Fucking Vettel being a cool kid. Alright. What are we getting here? 
Oh, we're getting we're getting a cutscene. You are now on your way to become a racing driver. In other words, you might end up racing in the same race with me one day. And please never forget, enjoy your driving. I'm looking forward to see you on track one day. Get cut on Vettel. Epic winning cutscene. Fucking G suit looks awesome. Driving is fun. All right. Oh, okay. One more thing is the actual like prize scene. Cause now I have the fan car. Yay! I have all the Red Bull X 2014s now. Let's see. Wait, what was this? Ooh, I like this. Let's get this. That was pretty cool. So, um, assuming I didn't miss anything, which I'm pretty sure I didn't, I just completed GT6. We're done. We is done. So let me just do a quick check here. Stats page. 100%. We did it. We did it. Yes. All right. So there we go. Gran Turismo 6 is complete. 6,000 miles. 600 of that was the fucking, like, the wind holocaust at Indianapolis. 54 hours. Shorter than GT 3, 4, and 5. Possibly shorter than GT 2. I'm not sure. It's probably around the same. And yeah. So here's all of our... Here's a final look at our garage here, sorted by uh, acquirement order. Just gonna scroll through this. All 119 of my cars. So yeah, um, time to do my like signing off thing. And uh, before I started recording this, I brought up one specific thing on my video manager, and that was part one of Gran Turismo one, because I. Uh, Wanted to see when I first started this shit. And that was July 1st, 2010. And now here I am, April 21st, 2016. Or whatever day it is that this video will be released on YouTube, as far as the actual LP. We've completed Gran Turismo 6. So, six years in the making, I have single-handedly <laughs> done what no other YouTube has YouTuber has dared to do. Because no one's as fucking stupid as me. <laughs> and that is do a full 100% let's play of all of the main series Gran Turismo games. Plus Doris Trophy. That's seven games. So, there we go. But that doesn't mean I'm done with GT yet. Because there's still some other games I have to... Other GT games I have to play. Plus the upcoming GT Sport. And as well as I'm going to be real ping GT1, 2, and 3. But when that happens, fucking I don't know. Because I have a lot of shit planned as well, like before that. So, yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to sign off here. Thank you for watching this Let's Play. Thank you for watching all the GT Let's Plays if you have. If not, still thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah. So, we're done here, and I'll see you for my next Let's Play and stuff. Oh yeah, GTPSP, that was another thing. So yeah, anyways. I ruined the outro! <laughs> Whatever. So, see you guys later! Ah!